Jared Blickery, I want, University of Miami, Jared? <laughs> I went to Florida. I went to Florida International, so go, go Golden Panthers. However, I guess I would vote for, I would root for University of Michigan just because they're the other UM, of course, next to University <laughs> of Miami. Let's go straight to the Wi-Fi Interactive. We want to do our year-end recap for 2021, and I got some stats to share here. Really interesting. I'll go through the majors first. Let's start with the S&P 500, up 20, almost 27% year-to-date. By the way, the NASDAQ 100, also up 27%, not shown. What we do have is a NASDAQ composite a little bit less here. That's about 21% for the year. Finally, the Dow uh, is a really big laggard here. If you can call almost 19% year-to-date a laggard, um, pretty impressive. Russell 2000, not a major index, the minor index, uh, came in with total returns of 13.5%. Now, I just want to point out, these were not the best indices, best performing indices around the world. The CAC 40, up nearly 29%. And finally, the uh, Tel Aviv market, oh, doesn't want to cooperate here, but uh, there we go, up 31%. So that is actually the big winner. Now, I want to delve into our heat maps here. This is going to be the S&P 500 top winners and losers. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got top winners and losers. And not surprisingly, Lucid, Motor, Lucid Motors, excuse me, up 280%, tops a list, not only for the S&P 500, um, and this is a SPAC, so I need to get on the right screen here. There we go. This is looking more like a, what I was expecting. Uh, energy names are dominating the uh, S&P 500 biggest winners and losers. we got the top 10 and the bottom 10 right here. Devon Energy up over 178%. Uh, we have Marathon Petroleum, that's up over, or Marathon Oil, that's up over 146%. That's the year-to-date total there. And we also have FANG, that is Diamondback Energy, that's up 123%. XLE, the S&P 500 energy sector ETF, just had its best year ever, up over 40%. Some other names at the top, we got Ford Motors, uh, Bed Bath and Body Works, uh, that's up over 132%. NVIDIA, somewhat of a laggard here among the top 10, but really impressive performance of 125%. But let's cover those names to the downside because we got a couple gambling names filling out the bottom three. Penn, that would be Penn National Gaming, that is down nearly 40%. And then Las Vegas Sands, down 37%, so not the best year for these particular uh, gaming names. We also have Global Payments, uh, that's off over 37. Activision Blizzard, that's down over 28, and the list goes on. I do want to uh, go to the NASDAQ 100. A little bit of confusion on my part before because the top winner here, and not the S&P 500, is Lucid Motors, up 280%. That is followed by Moderna, uh, up 143%, but something you'll notice about a lot of these names, they are well off their highs. These numbers could be substantially higher uh, had we taken them or had the year closed at their peak, but it didn't. So we'll, we'll look at the uh, trends here at the top. Couple of uh, names that are pretty big here, NVIDIA, that became a mega cap stock this year. Uh, more than doubling in price, up over 125%. Also applied materials uh, rounding out some of the top movers here, that is up 82%. It's the downside which really catches investors' attention here. Peloton knocking off 75%, 76% of its value this year. Pretty tough story right there. China stocks are represented by Pinduoduo. That's down 67% this year. And by the way, I don't even think that's the worst fare in that particular cohort. And then finally, rounding out the dark red here, we got Zoom down 45%. But if we were to go down the list even further, Splunk, DocuSign, the software names really took it on the chin in the final months of the year. At least some of them did, uh, having a rough COVID. But overall, you take a look at what the trends have been this year. It's been one of winners and losers. The indices doing very well, the passive investors doing very well, um, but a lot of investors' portfolios this year were not tracking the indices. A lot of times the index would be up half a percent, 1% and people's portfolios would be down multiple percent. So it's been a tricky year. I just wanna round out the discussion with the sector action. As promised, XLE, the best performing sector of the year, up over 46%, followed by real estate, 41%. Then we got tech, financials and consumer discretionary rounding out the top. Everything's in the green, utilities, staples, those round out the laggards, both up over 14%. If I didn't say it before, just wanna say XLE, the uh, energy sector for the S&P 500 and the real estate sector for the S&P 500 having their best years ever, Adam. Let the good times roll, Jared Blickery. Happy New Year and thank you.